Alright, what is up everybody? It's Cookie here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the perfect gaming setup for starting off your YouTube career. I'm going to be showing you expensive routes as well as the cheaper routes to start off your YouTube career. The expensive route obviously being slightly better than the cheaper route. I'm making this video more for the people that want to start console gaming than anything else, but if you guys want to see a separate video for PC gaming, let me know in the comments below. To start off, let's just list the things that you're going to want to start off your career. You're obviously going to want a microphone, a headset, a game capture so you can actually record, and a webcam if you plan on doing face cam. You're also going to need an editing software, which I personally use Sony Vegas, but that'll be for another video if you guys want to see that. So I'm going to start off by showing you the cheaper route of everything. In my opinion, the mic is one of the most important things, and the mic I'm showing you right here, you've probably heard of it, is the Blue Snowball. It's the mic that I'm currently using right now, and I don't have the best setup for it, I just have it on the stand with a pop filter on it, and it's just right in front of my face. To start off, it has pretty good audio quality, and you can get a test for it right now just by listening to my voice. It's obviously not the best mic you can get, but it's the cheapest for the best quality. It also comes in different colors, so it's pretty fancy. By the way, I'll have all the links to everything I show in the description. If you're buying this mic, it doesn't actually come with a pop filter, or at least mine didn't for that matter. So I'm also going to have a link for a pop filter in the description, because you're going to want a pop filter if you're getting a mic, just so you can get all of the excess noise out and the popping noises when you make your peas, etc. The reason I like the mic so much is not only because it's cheap enough for good quality, but it's also pretty small and it can fit in wherever you want to put it. I move this thing around from when I'm doing tutorials like this, to even when I'm doing live commentaries for my gaming videos. So it's pretty universal and you can pretty much fit it wherever you want. Now I'm going to show you the more expensive mic, but obviously the top quality mic. This mic, as you can see, is the Audio-Technica AT2035. It's an amazing studio mic that nearly every popular YouTuber uses. The only downside is it does come at $149. But if you're willing to spend a lot of money on this and you think it's going to go somewhere, I really recommend getting this mic. It's actually the one I'm saving up for right now because of its amazing quality. Right now I'm just going to show you a clip from one of my friend's videos, just so you can see how good the audio quality actually is. Before like the actual gameplay starts, I guess, I want you guys to leave a like if you want to see some more Minecraft survival games on the channel. Because, you know, I have been pretty demotivated recently to, um, you know, like do Minecraft, Roblox, and all the stuff that you guys like seeing on the channel recently. So as you can see, that's like the top quality professional mic that you really want and what you really want to aim for if you plan to take YouTube seriously. The specific link that I'm going to be giving you in the description actually does come with a pop filter and an XLR cable for your audio mixer. So the conclusion of the audio microphone section, the Audio Technica is what you're going to want to get if you want to spend a little bit extra cash on this whole YouTube thing, and the Blue Snowball if you just want to start off small like I did. Another important thing if you want to do like horror videos or just want to face cam in general is obviously a good webcam. The best webcam that I found for a medium-ish price is the Logitech HD Pro C920. Right here you can actually see what it is like compared to the other Logitech webcams. Personally, if you want to do webcam videos slash facecam videos, this is definitely the webcam you want to get because of its amazing HD quality and it's really just good to pick up everything that you want it to pick up. It also has a built-in mic so you can record with both microphones in case one doesn't work, vice versa. It does come in at $62, which isn't that bad for a webcam. In my opinion, that's a really good deal. You can just snag that and boom, you got yourself a really nice HD face cam. The next thing that's really important for recording and just playing games in general is a headset. Now I'm going to be showing the cheaper headset first like I did for the microphone. And that headset, you've probably heard of before, is the Razer Kraken. It's a really nice overall surround sound headset. It does come with a mic, but the mic isn't the best quality. But if you cannot afford the Blue Snowball or the Audio Technica and you do want a headset, the Razer Kraken is pretty good for that and it also comes with a mic so you can record your microphone audio. It does come in a bunch of different colors, which I think is pretty cool, and a really long cord. Trust me, I've had one before. It's nice, but it comes with an extremely long cord. It also comes at $70, which is pretty good for a headset, like I said, for the webcam, but $70 is pretty cheap for a nice headset. The next headset, and the way more expensive headset, coming at around $250 to $300, is the Astros. Personally, the Astro A40s are my favorite, and my all-time goal for a headset is definitely the Astro A40s. They have amazing quality, and the microphone on them is actually pretty good, so if you want to just go out all out for a headset and not get a microphone, I'm sure you could pass off just using that microphone. The surround sound that comes with it is amazing, it's also wireless, and comes with a mixer, which is pretty awesome, so if you're willing to spend a lot of money, definitely go for the Astro A40s. They also just released an A50s, so if you want to look into those, then go for it. So now we're on to the whole game capture thing. You've probably heard of the Elgato before because it is just the most popular game capture out there. It is also one of the best game captures out there. I personally have the HD60. The HD60S is the same price as the HD60 and is 
probably way better. The HD60 Pro is $30 more than the HD60S. The HD60S is just way better in recording and not the best for streaming, but the HD60 Pro is perfect in recording and perfect in streaming. So if you plan to do streaming and YouTube, then go for the HD60 Pro. They are a little expensive, but it is 100% the best way to record, and it also comes with an editing software right after you record your videos on console. So it is an amazing purchase for a new YouTuber. In the end, after I combined everything, the cheapest version of everything, including the Razor Kraken and the Blue Snowball, the price to start off your YouTube channel comes out to $379.26. That's pretty awesome if you're going for the cheap route. You can probably get that much money on like your birthday, maybe even Christmas. You can ask for some of this stuff for Christmas, but it's a pretty amazing price. You can save up for that not too long just by doing some chores, getting your allowance. And that's a really easy way to start off your YouTube career. If you're going the expensive route, it's gonna cost just about $670. So the expensive route is obviously a lot more, but it is definitely worth it if you plan to take YouTube seriously. Everything I just showed you are just my ideas, and it's kind of just to get your brain going and just getting you thinking about what you want to buy for your YouTube channel. Me, personally, what I would do is just start off low, start off with a snowball mic, start off with not the best things, but then if you start to take this seriously and you start to get a fan base going, then you might want to start getting the better materials, like the Audio-Technica and the Astro headset. If you do want a good editing software and something to edit thumbnails as well as your banner and profile picture, let me know in the comments because I can make a video on how to get the best editing software for free as well as Photoshop for free. Also, leave a like if you want to see more. Let's try to get 5 to 10 likes maybe, depending on what you guys think. If we get that much likes, I will show you how to get Sony Vegas as well as Photoshop for free in the full versions. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this helps you guys starting off your YouTube channel. And I really hope to see some people growing just by using my ideas. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.